Welcome back to the channel. This is collection update number 12. Got five brand new records to show you, right? Had a, another collection update that I mentioned previously. I was going to show like three records, like a little quick one. Kicking that down the road to do this one because I just got most of these in and I'm excited. I want to show them to you. First up. This one I've had for about a month, maybe. It was a pre-order. I think I ordered it way back in November. Finally, they pressed it, you know, and it got released about a month ago. I've shown this album before in my cassette. There you go. In my cassette update. Vomit Spell. Their first album. This is out on Life After Death Records. Inside, you have an insert. You have lyrics. Now, just black vinyl. <clears throat> this album. This is one of those albums. Every, every week, I recommend things on the weekend metal, right? I find good things every week. However, once in a while, a record comes along, and you listen to it, <clears throat> and blows your mind, right? You know that that record, it's not just a good record, but it's something that's going to be in regular rotation, you know, forever, you know. It's a classic, an instant classic that you just know. Every, every so often, I'm going to pull this out and listen to it, you know. Every so often, I'm going to stream this album, you know, whatever. This is one of those albums. This album, to me, is just a perfect album. This is a five out of five, you know. I give them out once in a while. You know, when I think, you know, they deserve a five out of five, I give it. This is one of those albums. This is a five out of five. It's a great album. It's great. You know, link, I'm going to put links in the description to everything I'm showing, you know. If you just want to listen to one song, Curbside Lacerations, last song on side one. Go listen to that song. And it's just going to, mm, it's going to make you love it. I can almost, almost guarantee that you're going to love this album if you check it out. Listen to the whole thing. You know, hang in there. You know, don't give up after 30 seconds. Listen to the whole thing. It's a great album. Highly recommended. <clears throat> Next up, placed an order with nuclear war now. I'm shopping. A lot of times I go to a distro and I'll just start, you know, what do you call it? Window shopping, you know, looking at stuff. Do that a lot, you know, nuclear war now and Hell's Headbangers. I look, you know, once in a while you run across something that you're like, gotta have it, gotta have it. So you buy it. Now, you don't just buy one thing, right? You want to, let's go ahead and see what else I can find, right? So I'm going to show you what I saw on Nuclear War Now that I said, got to buy it. Whatever, I, I just got to do it. Now, these first two things I'm going to show you, they're fan club editions, right? We know what that means. They're not official. You know, so this is what I saw at Nuclear War Now that made me say, I got to order it. Just got to have it. Sodom in the sign of evil. Or is it? Maybe it's Hellhammer. Apocalyptic raids. Turns out it's both. Both EPs on one record. Nice gatefold. You have Tom from Sodom, and you have 
Oops. I hate that light. You have Tom from Hellhammer. I guess that's the connection. They're both named Tom. So put both BAPs on one record. So yeah, this is... It's just awesome. How can you say no to that? It's on kind of a gray... Gray vinyl. Was kind of kind of a little bit marbled. A little bit. So... Put that in my shopping cart. Now, you don't want to just order one record. You know, you don't want to make them go through the effort of just packaging up one record. You want to buy a few, right? So I kept looking. Next thing I saw that went in my shopping cart, <clears throat> like I said, also, you know, fan club, unofficial, Sepultura, Morbid Visions. You know, so it looks like they just took an original pressing and just copied it, you know. Stuff on the inside, though, you know, you have, <clears throat> first you have, you know, photo collage, and you have text that looks like Korean, right, on the inside. You also have a poster. Sweet. This one is on a nice kind of marbled blue. Maybe a Carolina blue. Marbled. Really nice. Sounds good, too. Listen to it today. You know. Oh, should have pointed out. Yeah, I got a bootleg Hellhammer. I got the real thing, too. It's not a big deal. So, I'm going to save the best for last. But the last thing I put in my shopping cart before I checked out, it had been a couple days. So, I went back and looked, went back to the front page to see, have they added anything new, right, since I started shopping. Sure enough, they added Altar of Gore. This is Obscure and Obscene Gods. This is a one-man project from New Jersey, Acolyte of the Foul Ones. This is blackened death metal, and it is heavy stuff. Heavy, I'd even say heavy as balls. Don't know what that means, really. Heavy as balls, this album is. This is the, well, the only full-length album. I have, the, after this album, they put out a demo I have on cassette, limited to 50. I've shown that before. This is what, you know, I heard first, and I just fell in love. Awesome. Heavy, heavy stuff, right? So, yeah, this was kind of a blind buy, you know, but I saw it on vinyl, bought it, listened to it today, Listen to the first side. Didn't listen to all of it because I was rushing. Because I got three videos to shoot today. Busy day for me. Really good stuff. Heavy. If you like your death metal. Blackened and just heavy. Check out Altar of Gore. It's red. Really nice red. red yeah like I said best for last this that I'm about to show you I think you should buy this is mortuary ghoul corpse exhumation now I don't know where to start First of all, this is out on Night Rhythms Records. This album 
is not pressed. It is lathe cut. This is my first ever lathe cut record. Here's your label. I hate, like I said, I got that light and I hate it. It's, see, it's, if you hold it far away, it's good. But when you get up close, it's just too big there. Anyway, let me do that. Put it in the middle. There's the label. Other side, Leatherface, screen printed. <clears throat> now, this is screen printed. You have lyrics inside. The back. Just amazing, amazing package. You know, really low price. Sold out through the label. So Night Rhythms is sold out. As of like yesterday, still in stock at both Nuclear War Now and Hell's Headbangers. It's cheap. You know, 20 some dollars is all. You know, I should tell you, if you like Mortician, you want to buy this. Total Mortician worship, right? Just Mortician, you got your movie clips, heavy, heavily focused on Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which should be obvious, you know, from the cover and the screen printed Leatherface. Sound clips from that. Horror themed and a mortician cover, right? So there's a mortician cover, you know, mortician. If you love mortician, and who doesn't, right? Well, I know some of you don't. Most of you, a lot of you, not most of you, a lot of you love mortician. So if you like mortician, check out Corpse Exhumation from Mortuary Ghoul. You know, I don't know. I just think it's great, you know, releasing its limited, limited edition 150, right? Run out and grab yours, you know, tell them I sent you or something. I don't know. That's it. That's it for the collection update. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Drop a comment, you know. Give me a like, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.